Let's compare two flies, one without spots, which is the humdrum Drosophila melanogaster, one with spots on the male, Drosophila biarmapes. There's a gene, we're just going to call it the paintbrush gene, that's coding sequence is shown here in yellow, the same sort of schematic arrangement that we showed you for the stickleback. Well, there are switches for this paintbrush gene that govern how it's used in the body. Well, both animals, genomes, contain these switches, and these switches govern the use of this paintbrush gene to fill in the color on the abdomen of the fruit fly. But in the spotted fruit fly, there's an additional switch, a switch that draws a spot in the wing, such that the paintbrush is also used, in addition to its other jobs, in drawing a spot on the wing of these butterflies, of these fruit flies, I'm sorry. Same principle is applying to butterflies. So what we understand here is the process of evolution involves both gain and loss. In the case of the spotted fruit flies, a new switch has evolved that draws a new pattern. It's expanded the role, expanded the number of jobs of a toolkit gene. In the case of the reduced pelvic sticklebacks, a job has been abandoned. The PIDX gene is no longer used for hind fin development in the species that have adapted to these lakes and lost their pelvic skeleton. The gene still exists and other switches still exist for that gene, but the switch has been inactivated in the sticklebacks. 